Barara is the economic pulse of the Ankole sub region. The district is home to over 30,000 people. Legend has it that what is most talked about this town are its beautiful girls, milk, and honey. But as the primordial culture of the Ankole people gradually fades away, modern practices from the West continue to make inroads. Many people in Ankole are cattle keepers and milk is in plenty. It was once the main source of food for the family. We visited the home of Robin Akanche who is schooled in Ankole cultural practices. These are traditional milk containers called a bianzi in the local dialect, while the karabash is called a chishawo. It is used for churning fermented yogurt from which ghee is got. To preserve milk and give it a flavor, the containers are smoked using special grass. The milk would have a good taste and would take long to go bad. Marriage holds a special place in Ankole culture. A bride in Ankole was kept in a room smeared with ghee, covered with back cloth, and fed well as a sign to prepare her for marriage. <laughs> This is the ghee that we would smear the bride with. We did this as a means to beautify her. The bride and groom did not know each other until the day of marriage, a practice which elicited panic during the giveaway ceremony. Giving away the girl was hard. She would cry, resist to leave to stay with the groom. Even if you did not like the man, you would slowly get used in order not to disappoint your parents. As part of respect to the groom, a girl was given a rod used to carry milk containers and a short rod for the children. She was also given a rope for tying the cow's legs during milking. At the ceremony, what united the bride and groom was milk. The bride and groom would keep milk in the mouth and then tussle it out on who will be the first to spit on the other. Dry aromatic soil was used as a deodorant for the women. One of the traditions that the people of Ankole are still saying has been overridden by the modern culture is the fact that the girl, before she could get married, she had to stay virgin. And that was a prerequisite for a successful marriage. When a girl was virgin, the man would send a coin to the aunt. But when she's not, he would send to the aunt a bed sheet with a hole to show his disappointment. Though these rituals remain part of Ankole customary marriage ceremony, they have been fused with some modern practices. Sudil Biarhanga. NTV Barara.